Hi, in today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you on how to draw this 3D object. And at the same time, we're going to see what will happen when we cut this object according to this arrow here. Okay, the arrow that point to A is where our eyes will be located. Okay, let's say we want to view from this side. So we're going to remove this, this side. Okay, we want to view on the right hand side block. Okay, we want going to remove the left hand side block. Okay. Alright, without waste any time, let me try to start to draw this object. Okay, open your AutoCAD software. Okay, make sure your X and Y on the bottom. You can use the top also, then south is isometric. There you go, already bottom. So as you can see on this object, okay, how are we going to this, uh, draw this object? With two different parts. First, we're going to draw the bottom part here. Then later, we're going to draw this top part. Okay, differently. Then later we're going to join both of these objects. Okay, it will be much easier on that way. There are many ways to draw this object actually. Okay, uh, this is my technique that I would like to show you and share with you. All right, how about the information for the bottom? For the bottom, we have a rectangular size with 4.5 times 2. Okay, so choose the rectangular command RC. Okay, you can specify wherever the starting point 4, 4.5 4.5, 2 Enter Alright But unfortunately we have the different direction of the rectangular What we can do, we can use the comma rotate R-O-T-A-T-E Rotate the particular rectangular Choose the rectangular Click from one edge okay. Close to another edge Alright, that's it We already bring Bring the direction of the rectangular correctly With our drawing here Okay, now what we have to do So we have to uh, give the another information which is 0 0.62 for the height of this object okay 0 0.62 how we can do that we can use the command press pull or the shortcut control alternate press the particular area bring up 0 0.62 enter okay then now what we have to do we want to create this fillet okay the round shape here on the edge four different round shape so with the information of 0 0.5 okay the radius will be 0 0.5 how are we going to do that I think we we are quite familiar the fillet command in 2D. Now we're going to apply the same fillet command in 3D object. Okay. So same thing. Go to command and type fillet. Fillet. Alright. Enter. Okay, and this time we have to choose the edge of the 3D object. In 2D, you have to choose the two different lines. Okay, for fillet command. But in this time a bit different. You have to choose the edge click on the edge okay then I'm going to ask you the radius which is 0 0.5 enter let's say uh, we want to fill it all the four corner at the same time so you have to choose from currently all the edges is number two click on the edge and this is our third edge okay how about the other edge that we cannot see there so we have to rotate this particular block here and escape and click on the edge there there you go okay now you have to enter okay there you go you already have the particular object there all right okay zoom in okay on the bottom you can see our reference line okay leave it there we're going to use it uh, until the end after that we can delete the all the reference that we don't want okay how about other parts that we have to draw now okay this uh, information here okay where this uh, parts located here the hollow here okay one unit from the edge and then going to move inward by 0 0.5 and the circle here is a, is a 0 0.38 diameter okay one 0 0.5 0 0.38 okay so to uh, to make it easier let me choose let me draw in the 2d wireframe okay let me put all the information here. One unit move inward by 0 0.5 unit. All right. Okay, there you go. Now we have to draw the circle. Okay. Choose the particular edge there. Okay. What is the circle diameter? Diameter 0 0.38. There you go. Okay. After that, you're going to have other line that connect the quadrature of the circle to the edge same process repeat back to the edge all right okay now what we can do we can copy straight away this shape here on this direction so that so that we have uh, no need to uh, 
uh, redraw back this section here on this side. Okay, how are we going to do that? First, we can copy. Oh uh, no, first we must have the first we must have the the center line information, which is a uh, one unit. All right, move inward by right? zero point five unit. All right, that's enough. Okay, let me copy C O P Y. Copy this all line here that we want to bring it there. Right, enter. This is our displacement point, and bring it here. There you go. Okay, so we can see our object is still same direction with this object. So what we have to do now, we can rotate. Okay, all this line here. Choose the line that you want to rotate. Okay, this is the displacement point. So continue this edge there. I'm sorry. So you have to just now we have rotated for the 90 degree you have to rotate another 90 degree there so let me repeat back so rotate okay all this object here enter specify the base point here 180 there you go okay now what we have to do now we have to press pull all this particular area here so if we view from the uh, conceptual we cannot see anything because here on the top here so we have to move to the bottom there okay there you go to the bottom let me slide this object a bit okay all right there you go there you go okay control alternate okay press pull press pull So we have successfully created the bottom part here. All right. Now I want to draw. I want to draw the other part here. Okay. Differently. Okay. Uh, how about the information that we have for this part? Okay. Zero point six two is the thick, and also we have the circle here. One by one. So total length of this block is two by zero point six two. Two by zero point six two. Okay, I can draw here rectangular. Okay. How about the height of this object? As you can see, we have zero point seven five from the from this edge to here zero point seven five. At the same time, we know the radius of this curve is one. So 1 plus 0 0.75. Total length is 1.75. So press pull. 1 point negative 1.75. Why I put negative? Because my z now pointing towards downward. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's a small problem. Okay. Then now. Okay. I want to create my circle. Where is my circle going to locate? So I must have a reference line. The center, the center line here. To the center line here. Alright. Then another form move upward by 0 0.75. Alright, there you go. This is the center C for the circle. And one is the radius. Then after that, what we have, we can press pull this area here. Alright. Okay. After that, we have another two information here. Three information. 0 0.625 is for the circle inside. Then we have another circle with the radius of 1.25. Okay, now what I'm supposed to do I have to press okay let me delete this line first alright so you can see here we want to 
okay let me delete uh, this line as well okay if you don't delete this line so we have to press push many times okay we're going to waste our time let me delete the particular line it's quite hard let me shift to, to the wireframe there you go okay what we're going to do now as you can see here from this object okay the inner circle going to move inward by 0 0.12 okay so we're going to press pull this particular area this inner circle with the diameter of 1.25 okay by 0 0.12 and the smallest circle will be press pull until the end okay let me press pull the small circle first there okay we already create the hollow then press pull this particular area move inward by negative 0 0.12 there you go okay let me delete all the unwanted line there okay now what i'm going to do i move i want to uh, move this particular circle here Okay, let me create this reference line. It will be easier for me. Reference the center line. Okay, then not the reference line on this block, the center. All right. Okay, now I want to move this object. Move. Okay, move. Choose the object. All this object here. Okay, this is my reference line. Move until. There you go. All right. Okay, you can delete the reference line just now. See, we have successfully created this object here. Okay. What we can do now, we, this is still two different objects. So, what you have to do now, you have to use the command union to combine this unit with this unit. Hand pen. Now, when you bring your cursor to the object, you can see this is one object. So, you can go to 2D wireframe and delete all the unnecessary line that's still there. Okay. All right. That we have previously used as our guidelines. All right. All right. I think that's it. Okay. Okay. You can rotate and see how does this object look like. All right. Okay. As the question mentioned, uh, as the information that we have for the object here. Okay. They want us to cut to this section here. Okay, on the center line. Okay, let me try to cut and see what happened. Okay, I think in my previous video I show in detail how we're going to cut this object. Alright. Okay, so we can choose the common cut slice. Alright. Then click on the object. Alright. Then choose three. Here we're going to define three different points. I can choose from the top in the center and move inward there you go we want to delete this part okay there you go this is how does the object look like okay when you cut through it okay as the reference line given by the a here okay now i want to view from the from the top there Okay, let me bring it to inwards a bit. Okay, now I want to hatch. Okay, this part 